Hello and hi there guys, this is Sonia Moran and welcome to Stein Codes. Today we will be going over the tool that I declare as my new favorite pixel art editor. And the tool is, well, very obviously, Krita. As Krita 4.0 has just been released, I uh, opened it up and started fiddling with it. Uh, and I found pretty interesting things that we can do with the pixel engine and pretty interest interesting brushes that we can create with it. I've created this simple grass style. Uh, and this is how it looks. It, it doesn't look as good as I'd want it to, but it, it's not that bad. And I just created this brush, so I'm not that familiar with Krita as of now, but uh, it has its flaws and it has it, uh, good things. So let's just go into how and why you, should, uh, you could use Krita for any of your projects. So I'm just gonna go to file new and now you can just uh, select from the predefined and as you can see this is pixel art 64 by 64 it was not already there I created it by going to, and saying uh, pixel art and save as and uh, then uh, for now let's just make a 32 by 32 and let me change the width and height to 32 by 32 and hit save now you can just go 64 by 64 and then 32 by 32 both are available to you and you can also change the ppi the resolution all that stuff but now uh jumping into the 32 by 32 i'm just gonna delete all the layers and rename this as style so in this we'll probably be just creating some basic things in krita as you can see that krita now has this uh pixel grid if you can see it on the monitor uh, on the screen and it's pretty helpful if you want to edit pixels and the brush that I'm currently using is called pixel art scatter uh, and I also named it grass because I'm likely going to be using this for grass let me just get a little bigger and then you can see a little clearly this is the basic pixel art brush which is pretty uh, complete I've had no issues with it and plus you can also see that uh, the jaggies are not present which is a good thing so how I'm, how I like to draw they usually are zero jagged lines in uh, whatever you draw so even if you rough out a sketch of something like uh, probably an uh, uh, leaf something like that or probably something like a sword and you can also use the line tools the shapes and all that stuff and the good thing about Krita is the shapes and the tools also use the same engine so if I select a dithering and I go to the square and I create a dither square and this is what I get so let me just clear it let's create a small uh, square as you can see so this is the good thing about Krita and it's pretty amazing how, how it can come to use. So let me just turn it down to one pixel, the size, and let's quickly create a square. And now I'm just going to create another one. And as you can see, these ones don't have the data effect. Because for a uh, data effect, you will likely need at least two squares. So make sure to have at least two squares and you can get pretty amazing effects uh, using this trick I actually like it a lot because uh, it helps me with creating pixel art I'm not the best artist uh, on the planet um, and my mm, you can call that uh, my programmer art is just uh, so good that I can well pro create prototype assets from my games something like that so uh, something like this comes very handy if you uh, know or understand what I'm trying to say. So let me just set it down back to one pixel, and and the tool options are pretty good too. So you can just have stabilizer stabilizing your uh, movement, and you can use this to create art. But for pixel art, I don't think that any of these is necessary. Just hit, set it to basic, or you can also set it to none. Doesn't matter. But having weighted is what, what I usually leave it to because at times I have to do some kind of uh, image editing or something like that. 
and that's when I well at times I find myself using Krita. So now how did I create this pixel art scatter grass that well does this? So as you can see, its opacity and things are well just randomized around the pixel. <laughs> oh, the pixels are completely randomized. So now if I go here and select the fill tool, select a light color, fill the whole space with it, and then go and select a pre dark color. Now we can just use this to create ourselves the effect that we want or uh, the grass effect. Now I'm just gonna hit W. W turns on the warp mode or wrap mode. It helps with tiling, that is simply. Now I'm just gonna be using different colored brushes. You can use as many different colors as you like. I'm just playing around at this moment. Uh, if you're creating an actual tile, you might want to use um, more specific colors, uh, colors that you prefer to use, but it looks pretty good. Now, if you want to add more or uh, less details to it, or you don't like the pixeliness, then you can go around and go to filters and go to blur and hit Gaussian blur. And turn on the Gaussian blur and see the preview at the same time. So I would like to set it to something along the lines of 0 0.84. This is quite perfect for me. And I'm just going to do this. And you can see that it looks quite nice. It's a pretty decent grass style. Now we can save it or play around with more settings. And just going to the settings, you can see that this is a pixel scatter grass brush. It has got uh, everything disabled and the spacing and the scatter have been set to pen enabled. I've got a graphics tablet, but I'm not using it now because, well, it's pixel art. And in the brush tip, I've set the density down to 28, the randomness pretty high, and the diameter is one pixel. So all of that is how it works. You can just ring uh, around with the settings and create pretty amazing brushes. Although I would recommend changing this art over here, which I have not yet done. And you can also uh, make sure that this is ticked so you, your changes will temporarily be saved. And now I'm just gonna lock, uh, you can just go ahead and right click and lock different things. So I'm just gonna go lock the brush tips. Uh, I might just lock the spacing and all that stuff. So it's pretty good uh, in the way that if you just lock it, then nobody else can well change it. Unlock, keep current settings and all that stuff. So now if you change it, uh, it, it because it's locked, then the settings are actually not changed. Uh, I'm just create another tile, hide this, and the settings are not completely changed. And that's how it is. So now unlock and restore settings from preset, and the settings are back. Uh, probably not. There's some kind of bug in Krita. So we will just uh, see all the bugs, uh, which will be resolved in future updates. But for now, uh, Krita seems like a pretty, pretty decent alternative to most of the pixel art tools out there, which aren't available for free. Uh, such as a sprite which a sprite and pi uh, uh, I believe that's what it's called although I really like something like a uh, tile map editor or something like that uh, just to see if my tiling is perfect and it looks good but well uh, I, I, now it has the Krita has the Python scripting support so uh, writing a plugin will not be a bad idea so I might just do that but for now, you understand why Krita is now my most favorite pixel art editing tool because it's got a pretty amazing brush engine and well, it's got lots of uh, tools now so you can just change the size okay and I've probably logged a few things and yes, as you can see because you have logged it, these cannot be changed uh, from outside the, the field I'm just gonna unlock and keep current settings, unlock, keep current settings, and all that stuff. So that's how it is, and these are some of my mistakes that I did while trying to create this brush. So uh, be wary that how you save will affect the way uh, your art is drawn and things like that. So 
you might want to be careful about that <coughs> so that's all for this video and bye for now i'll see you later in my future rts uh, or rpg show videos bye so here's to hoping that you liked the video and you are well going to like and subscribe to watch more of my content and you'll let me know in the descriptions down below that if you want to see some pixel art tutorials from Krita, uh creating the brushes and all that kind of stuff so if you want to just let me know in the comment section down below bye for now and see you later